Hey guys, this is TechWiz. Um, this is this is kind of a different video because this is actually one of the first videos I've ever done that was indirectly upon request. Now the video that I posted, uh, I'm not entirely sure how long ago, was iOS 10 beta performance on iPod Touch 6th generation. And the performance was pretty good, even for a beta. But someone commented down below that they wanted to know the graphical performance of the iPod Touch on iOS 10. And was it on par with iOS 8 or 9? Now, when I tried to reply to this comment, it just kept giving me an error. And no matter what I did, I just kept getting an error. And just recently, or yesterday or today, some point, he commented again. And he tried to ask again. And still, I just, I couldn't even find the comment. I guess he deleted it, but the notification stayed on my phone. So today I decided I was, I was just going to make a video demonstrating the graphical performance of iOS 10 on the iPod Touch 6th generation. And if you'll notice, I'm in 60 frames per second, which is definitely, well, that's one downside. Whenever I bump this part of my desk, you can just see the constant shaking. Well, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to lock it here. First game I'm going to start off with is just a little bit of driving school. This is not a very uh, graphically demanding application, but I figured I would demonstrate it anyway just to show the performance here. I don't know what that is. Okay, yes, that is my, that is my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? Game Center username right there. Okay, I guess we'll just do the city. It's loading up here. I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi because I keep, because I, I hate advertisements, but it looks like they're gonna be showing up anyway. So there's really nothing I can do about that. Uh, we're just gonna close out the tutorial. And, uh, Drive around. Now the draw distance in this game itself, like even on an iPhone 6s, is just terrible. I don't want. I don't know why, but it's just the draw distance. I guess the game sets it like that. But yeah, it's truly awful. I st I used to like this game a lot, but not not so much anymore. But yeah, you see, I'm driving around. The frame rate is not dropping. Everything is uh, pretty spot on here. What? The? Well, I guess that shows the, how bad the driving physics are in this game. Uh, and that was also, yeah, with a lot of apps open. So next, uh, well, that app is kind of the same, just with trucks. So we're going to go right to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas right here. Now this is a graphically demanding app. This app, uh, I mean, on an iPhone 4S and stuff things like that of that spec iphone 5 this game does not why do they want to access apple music in my media library yeah whatever so i'm going to start a new game here you can see it loads pretty fast not as fast as a 6s of course but you know whatever so start a new game here after five years on the east coast so as you can see during these uh, simple uh, simple cutscenes here the frame rate doesn't drop at all uh, resolution is full retina we're just gonna skip that and uh, so I'm just gonna ride the bike around a little bit turn that down Leave a like on this video if you hate the way they set these controls up. It's not so much the buttons, it's just the buttons are too small for my fingers. I have to adjust them before I do anything. So you can see I'm riding the bike around here. Draw distance is very good. It does run with all the fancy effects that uh, take it above and beyond the uh, PC version. So you can see here, I'm just riding around. But what if you're traveling a bit faster? So I'm going to travel a bit faster now. And I'm going to drive a car. Hold on, change the radio station. I don't like music. I don't want music on. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to drive around now. I'm just such a good driver, so I need to show that to the world. 
as you can see, no frame drops at all, no uh, no issues here, draw distance, everything is just as good as a uh, modern, brand new iPhone 7, or at least what I would imagine, I don't have an iPhone 7, but here we go, so, graphical, gra ugh, what? Graphical performance is pretty much, I would say, on par with iOS 8 and 9. If you had any of those firmwares running on the iPod Touch 6th generation. So yeah, that, that was basically, I just wanted to uh, reply to that uh, one person who kept commenting. I, could, I wasn't able to reply to them, as I said before. So yeah, I just made a video. Um, I need a video to put out anyway. So I hope you uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.